Hey, how's it going? This is Stephen Koch with StephenKoch.com Climbing Tips and I'm going to show you right now how to coil and uncoil a climbing rope. So I have the end of a Petzl 8.2 Dragonfly rope and it's already stacked. I always stack the rope from one end here and then I stack the entire rope making sure not to bury that end and then I end up with the other end on top and I can either coil it with one or I can get both ends which is how I normally do it do the butterfly coil starting with both ends I do two arm lengths and then the third one I go over my head and behind my head with the rope. And your whatever your arm length is, that's the length you want here. For me it's a little over six feet. For you, you know, if you're five feet, it's five feet. It's just right. Uh, your height. And I do this to the end. Again, just be patient. Don't get too fancy with flipping it over your head. You end up smacking yourself in the face. I've done that many times. And you come to the end. And I happen to, you know, you're going to be close to equal. You know, I just sort of even it out. If, if you have to back up and go a little bit short on a couple, it's okay. And once I have it, at this point I make sure not to lose any of these coils it's easier with these skinny ropes but with any rope just make sure you're not losing any coils all nice and neat here and then I take this and I start wrapping literally pulling really tight each time cinching it down so there's no more room in there I go three, four times, and then I reach around through here, or I reach through, grab this, pull it through, and come over the top, and then get these, and pull that tight, and now I can make a backpack out of it. and I can tie a square knot. And with it as long as this, I get rid of that by just twisting it up and tiring, tying a figure nine in it. So that's it. This is a coiled rope it turned into a backpack and comes out quite easily. The one thing about this double coil that I just made is when I'm going to get ready for climbing and stack it, for climbing, I'm going to stack it from one end to the other. So I take it like this. If I just tie in here and have my partner tie in here at this point, we're going to have rope spaghetti. And you don't want rope spaghetti. So what I do is I take one end for whoever's seconding, put it off to the side, and then I stack the rope. This is why we stack it. You don't want this to be happening when you're belaying your partner. It's a pain and it's dangerous, potentially dangerous. So here I go. If I'm going to be leading, this is my end because I'm on top of the pile. And for double ropes, which you use uh, two of these thin ropes, 
I'm going to stack the other pod pile right next to it just like that. So that's how we uh, coil the rope. You can also coil with one end the same except it's just single strand instead of double. It takes twice as long to do this but the advantage of this is when you uncoil this to climb it's ready to go. You don't need to restack it. Um, it's not going to be as clean as restacking it. So that's why I normally do the double because I like to restack it to know I've done everything I can to be as efficient as possible so there's no snags. So that's how you go about this. All right, this is Stephen Koch, stephenkoch.com climbing tips. Let me know more uh, questions if you have them and I hope you have a great day and great climbing. Thanks.